Hello and welcome to this spoken tutorial on overview of DSpace. In this tutorial, we will learn about DSpace as a digital repository system, notable DSpace repositories, Dublin Core metadata standard, and the content available in various tutorials in this series. To work with DSpace, you should have basic knowledge of library science. Throughout the series, we will be using Ubuntu Linux OS 18.04 or Windows 10 64-bit OS, DSpace version 6.3, gedit text editor for Ubuntu or WordPad for Windows, and Firefox web browser. However, you may use any other browser and text editor of your choice. DSpace works on any one of the following operating systems. Ubuntu Linux OS 18.04 or Windows 8 or higher versions. DSpace is a free and open source repository software package. DSpace is used for creating and managing repositories of digital content. DSpace preserves and enables easy and open access to all types of digital content like text and images, video and audio, datasets, web pages, learning objects, etc. DSpace is a digital archival system and it has the best features of content management systems and document management systems. DSpace offers the following features free and open source software, completely customizable to fit user needs, structured workflow for document submission. Metadata and full text indexing for search, granular group based access control, UTF 8 support, manage and preserve all formats of digital content. DSpace is used by educational, government, private, and commercial institutions like museums, state archives state and national libraries, and journal repositories and consortiums. Notable DSpace repositories are the World Bank Open Knowledge Repository, WHO Institutional Repository, Shod Ganga, a reservoir of Indian theses, Institutional Repositories of IITs, and IIMs. DSpace uses the Dublin Core Metadata Standard for digital content submission. Now, let us proceed to learn about the Dublin Core Metadata Standard. Dublin Core Metadata Standard is a set of elements for describing resources. Dublin Core Metadata Standard can be used to describe digital resources and physical resources. Now, let us explore each element of Dublin Core Metadata Standard. This is also known as DC element in short. Title is a name given to the resource. Creator is an entity primarily responsible for making the resource. Contributor is an entity responsible for making contributions to the resource. Date is a point or period of time associated with an event in the life cycle of the resource. Description is the description of the resource. Coverage is a geographic location, date slash period or administrative entity of the resource. Format stands for the file format, 
physical medium or dimensions of the resource. Identifier is a unique reference to the resource within a given context. Language is the language of the resource. Type is the nature or genre of the resource. Relation is a related resource. Rights are information about rights held in and over the resource. Publisher is an entity responsible for making the resource available. Source is a related resource from which the described resource is derived. Subject is the topic of the resource. Now, let's briefly go through the various tutorials available in this series. If you are a Windows 10 OS user, use these tutorials to install DSpace and customize it. The initial tutorial is about installing and setting environment variables for JDK, Maven and Ant on Windows 10 OS. After this, we will install Topcat and PostgreSQL on Windows 10. Also, we will create a DSpace database. If you can't find the same versions of software used in the demonstration, use any other stable versions. But it is mandatory to use only JDK 8 with any release. In the DSpace installation tutorial, we'll see how to download, build and install DSpace 6.3. Also, we will create a DSpace administrator account and log in to DSpace. In the next tutorial, we will see how to configure email settings in DSpace hosted on Windows 10. We will also learn how to rebuild DSpace to update the changes on the server. This is followed by the tutorial on customizing the home page of DSpace hosted on Windows 10. If you are an Ubuntu Linux OS user, use these tutorials to install DSpace and customize it. We first have the tutorial on installing the necessary basic packages on Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04. We will install JDK 8, Ant and Maven build tools. Also, we will install and configure Apache Tomcat 8 as a web server and PostgreSQL 10 as a database server. After this, we'll see how to download, build and install DSpace 6.3. We will also learn how to create a DSpace administrator account and log in to DSpace. In the next tutorial, We'll see how to configure email settings in DSpace. We'll also learn how to rebuild DSpace to update the changes on the server. This is followed by the tutorial on customizing the DSpace homepage. Here, we'll understand how to modify logos, banner content, news, etc. After installation and customization tutorials on Windows and Ubuntu OS, we have common tutorials for both the users. Next, we'll see how to do user registration in DSpace and also know the different user roles in DSpace. Then, we will see how to add, edit and delete users using Administrator Authority. Also, we will learn how to create and manage groups in DSpace. Next, we'll see how to create, edit and delete community and sub-community. We will also assign a community administrator for the community. This is followed by a tutorial on how to create, edit and delete collections. We will also assign a collection administrator for the collection. Next, we will see how to fill item submission form 
and submit an item in the collection. Items submitted in the previous tutorial will be reviewed in this tutorial. This is followed by a tutorial on batch import of items. In this tutorial, we will see how to create SAF and import a batch of items in the collection. Later on, there will be more tutorials in this series. Please check the Spoken Tutorial website regularly for the latest topics. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned about DSpace as Digital Repository System, Notable DSpace Repositories, Dublin Core Metadata Standard, and the content available in various tutorials in this series. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Do you have questions in this Spoken Tutorial? Please visit this site. Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. The Spoken Tutorial project will ensure an answer. You will have to register to ask questions. The Spoken Tutorial forum is for specific questions on this tutorial. Please do not post unrelated and general questions on them. This will help reduce the clutter. With less clutter, we can use these discussions as instructional material. The Spoken Tutorial project is funded by the Ministry of Education, Government of India. DSpace Spoken Tutorial series is funded by the National Virtual Library of India, Ministry of Culture, Government of India. This script and the video for this tutorial was contributed by Pankaj Patil from IIT Bombay. And this is Nancy Verkey signing off. Thanks for joining.